بسم اللہ الرحمن رحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر بیک ود آر جرنی اباؤٹ وسل بلوئنگ اینڈ اسپیشلی اباؤٹ لاز ان پاکستان پارٹ ٹو ان دا پریویس سیشن وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ ہاؤ وی ہیو وسل بلور پروٹیکشن ایکٹ ان کے پی کے اینڈ وی آلسو ہیو وسل بلور پروٹیکشن ایکٹ ناؤ ان دا فیڈرل گورنمنٹ وی ہیو سیکشن تھرٹی ون ای ان دا نیب آرڈیننس وی آلسو ہیو انادر سیکشن ان دا نیب آرڈیننس وچ ٹینس ٹو پروموٹ وسل بلوئنگ امنگسٹ دا جنرل پبلک and uh, again then we have international laws which are complementing our national laws now what we see is is the national assembly standing committee on law and justice passed the draft whistleblower protection and vigilance commission bill 2019 uh, and the motaida majlis e amal the mma basically uh, opposed all of it the commission would be a three member body led by a chairman to be appointed by the federal government for a three year term so again this is a very important development and again this commission would be overlooking all the different aspects uh, related to whistle blowing and related to co- to corruption and see how it can tend to promote accountability and strive against corruption and promote integrity promote honesty and promote truth so this is very very important and we see that in 2019 this particular bill uh, also got passed the bill adequately empowers the commission to take on any whistle blower if he or she is found guilty of providing false inaccurate or misleading information so this is another aspect that not all whistle blowers are genuine not all whistle blowers are bona fide so if there is some malafide by some whistle blower then the commission can take that whistle blower to task and also award him or her punishment and a penalty uh, one of the national assembly members illustrated that there are military courts in the country but there is no protection for whistle blowers it is the duty of the state to combat corruption so again unless we don't provide protection to whistle blowers like uh, we see we see the witness protection program of usa that is very famous many films have been made on it also uh, so uh, it becomes necessary that we also develop such a system or such a process that when someone blows the whistle then he or she is given that high level of protection so that he or she knows that the repercussions and retaliation uh, by the organization or by the individuals involved will not affect him or her or their family so that is extremely important and uh, it is possible uh, by encouraging the provision of new courts so that they can uh, monitor and also impose the rule of law uh, the present law of uh, kpk 2016 defines a whistleblower as a person or an agency who discloses the public interest information under this law the law in which is setting up of a wp vc comprising three commissioners to be appointed by the government for three years so very similar to the federal government model we see that on a provincial level they want to have their own commission and that commission would then be regulating the whole process of accountability and most importantly be providing protection uh, to uh, those people who are blowing the whistle the act provides certain qualification for the commissioner the said commission is empowered to initiate an inquiry on the disclosure of a whistle blower so again inquiries can be initiated based upon the whistle blower and also uh, what we see is that the role of the commissioner is very important Uh, section 30 of the RTI Act provides that no one may be subject to any legal, administrative, uh, or employment-related sanction, regardless of any breach of a legal or employment obligation for releasing uh, information or wrongdoing, or which would disclose a serious threat to the health, safety, or the environment, as long as they are acted in good faith and a reasonable belief that the information was substantially true. So again, what we see is that the KPK Act. and the federal act both are complementing each other and it becomes very important that all the other provinces also follow and they also come up uh, with their own laws and uh, promulgate the right uh, laws which would protect the whistleblower and would ensure that the corrupt uh, are sent into jail and they bear the brunt uh, of the punishment uh, secondly what we see is is that uh, this gives a lot of confidence to people uh, who are afraid to come forward Uh, through these two acts and through these different commissions uh, they are also guaranteed a certain level uh, of security and safety but that must be enhanced so what we see is that pakistan also is developing uh, a very good structure for whistleblowing and also providing protection to whistleblowers thank you so much